and James Kennedy, you better bring this shit the second season. Cause you got eight more, nine years in you. This could be a great thing, but you got to yep. bring it. Yep. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. What about, right. And it's, I say the same thing you say about like, what is real and what is not real. I don't know if it's all real with Jax. I would love to know Kristen Doty's reaction to all of this. I mean, she's not, same. she's on, she's not speaking. Like I, I want to, no. I want her to comment. What does she feel about Jax and going to the, you know, th this treatment center? Like, where is she on all this? Well, I think the silence is almost <laughs> something in itself, right? Because Kristen's always got an opinion. Yeah, she always has an opinion. Do you think, like, what do you think will happen with Vanderpump Rules? I mean, is that the solution? Just bring over the people that fit and then have, like, what do you think? Because, you know, there's all these rumors. There's a lot of rumors. James oh, yeah. Kennedy made that comment online of, like, y'all think you got to figure it out, but you don't or whatever. Well, said. and people slide into the Vanderpump Rob's DMs with, like, Mm -hmm. this is it i heard from this and i'm sure you get the same sort of thing and i'm like well until i see it i'm not going to believe it right my favorite theory at this point the, the one that i want to believe is going to happen is that okay you get a tom sandoval who costs way too much money for the trouble that he's causing right uh, even if it does bring in ratings, maybe he's not bringing in the ratings as much as an Ariana is now. Right. So do we want to pay Tom and Ariana? Do we want one over the other? Or do we want to pay a new cast that will cost as much as one Tom Sandoval? And so that seems logically something an executive would say yes to, but you can't just start bare minimum. Now you remember, uh, Saved by the Bell, the new class, that still had Mr. Belding and Screech. So I think we're going to have one or two people, Lisa Vanderpump aside, she's back here, one or two people from the original show that like are still in the mix, somehow tied to Sir or Tom Tom or something about her or something like that. And then we'll have other cast members from the Valley and previous Vanderpump rules peppered in throughout the whole season. And it'll be like production hedging their bets on, well, this either makes a great finale because we can wrap up stories with former cast members or a great jumping off point to a new, you know, Vanderpump rules, the next generation. So you don't believe this whole one more season with all the OGs to just wrap it up? No, I don't think it'll. I, I'd love to be proven wrong, but I don't think that's going to be the case. And you don't believe this other thing that Peter Battergirl has apparently been saying for months, uh, a whole new cast, just all new cast. No, no of anyone. Kind of your situation, but not even that. Just all I love cast. Peter to death, but I don't think that's the end all. I think it's a a, a hybrid of those things interesting yeah and i mean the only hybrid i mean the most sense to me would be james as a dj james? sheena makes the sense to me unless you know on the valley i could but... see james in a couple of episodes like at that center around see you next tuesday i think sheena could be brought in to train or something like a very fun thing that's like here's what i learned because i had to train and be trained and all these sort of things i worked at every one of lisa's restaurants you know and that's it the toms are just off our tvs ariana's just off our tv katie's gone i don't know but i think there would be a way to get them in there like we all got tickets to Tom's show and or Schwartz. But doing that's that. still so different than every week. I it mean, that's really a whole is. different life. I know. That's why I think they're hedging their bets. You know, they're no matter what, this is either the beginning of something new or the end of it all. And Bravo loves to keep milk and stuff. So if they can do both, that's what I think is going to be the case. Maybe a something about her spinoff. I'd love that if there's any sort of drama, but I don't know if I, I don't want to watch a show about best friends making sandwiches without any drama. 
I mean, the thing is, if you got a bunch of 20 somethings that are truly like starving to death, like the beginning with those shitty yes. apartments, and yes. they're all going to be very attractive. We all know that. We need and that. I mean, you could, it could be great. It could be yes. horrible. We recast New York. And the, I, I mean, think, I, yeah, I was just gonna say, I know a couple of the people that currently work at Sir right now, and they would be great. On this. Yeah. They you know what I mean? Be wonderful as a new cast. That's what I mean. It's like yeah. there is talent there. There's a real, like, we're going back to the beginning. We work at Sir. All of you yeah. have complained for five seasons that, you know, yes, we actually work here. We're making this much money. We have no money in our, our bank accounts. And it's back to the Hollywood struggle. Yes. That to me that. is somewhat, yeah, it's somewhat interesting. I agree. Bravo loves, I don't think they're going to turn their back on a lot of these people. There'll be something for them. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I think that's part of why Sheena and Lala are on the Valley. I think oh, it's totally. just like, let's start to see how this is going to work. And Bravo loves to reward bad behavior. So I, I'm, I would put money on Tom Sandoval having a show that centers around him within the next two years. Yeah, I don't think they're done with him. And I don't no. think they're done with Kennedy. I mean, Lisa goes no. on and says that he's like the best reality star other than Stassi she's ever worked with. Yeah, I mean, I, you know what I want to see? I want to see what Sheena, when Sheena came on my podcast a couple of years ago and talked about how she'd love to do a travel show with her and Brock. Like her and Brock, well, I guess Summer wasn't in the picture then, but uh, if they did tacos and tequila and just traveled across this big blue globe trying food and getting in fights that'd be great something yeah <laughs> what do you think of stassi being back in the mix and i mean she obviously turned down the valley we all know that yeah. obviously i think she could have come back to vanderpump rules and say like that would have been a splash as far as so but that's i don't think she wanted that i have a feeling stassi just like wrote her own ticket with this vanderpump villa and now has her own show and oh yeah Hulu, which let's face it, probably makes her totally happy. Oh yeah. I think that I think there's a bigger push that Lisa Vanderpump is going for to get out of the Bravo space with Hulu. You know, they had that and the food stars and all that. I think there's no way in hell, like Stasi probably took the meeting as like, there's no way in hell I'm going on the Valley or Vanderpump rules. What else you got? And they probably said, if you come and do some episodes of Vanderpump Villa to get ratings up, you can help uh, produce your, your own show. show, right? Like, I don't know what that show's going to be. I will watch it. And now, guess what? I want to go back and watch Vanderpump Villa because I want to know what happens in the next season. I agree. I... I'm definitely going to watch Stassi on Vanderpump Villa. I can guarantee you that. And I it was it's billed as a docu comedy. I don't even know what that is. I think that is like a not really reality. It's like a scripted reality, like Kardashians or Chrisley knows 